Hey there everybody, Professor Cloud here with another recommendation video. And this is my first one in a while, mostly because I've been stuck on big games that, you know, there's already plenty of content out there to understand and learn about. Uh, I prefer to do recommendations for games that maybe aren't quite as popular, maybe should have been, but weren't picked up for whatever particular reason. And this particular game is called Dismantle. Dismantle is a combination of a zombie action game combined with survival in a what I consider to be a very, very beautiful environment. Uh, the entire premise of the game is that you leave your hole in the ground. Uh, literally, you come up out of a hole. Uh, very similar to the vaults in, in Fallout, for example. And your entire goal is to get off the island where you have been sheltering yourself. Everything is available for you to use as resources, to craft things, to upgrade yourself, and to beat the different zombies. Now, I say zombies very loosely. You start off and zombies are pretty much what are going to attack you. However, as you do start to explore the initial island, uh, you will find some additional uh, types of, of monsters, if you will. Uh, and they all look a little bit different. They all have different numbers of hit points. They all have different abilities and things like that. Now, the combat isn't tremendously hard, uh, but it can be a little quick. Uh, you are going to have to learn how to dodge and roll and, and use your particular melee attacks correctly. Uh, but it's it's a lot of fun. I have, I was so surprised by this game. I, I love survival games. I love games that have crafting in them and things like that. Especially when you find out, oh, hey, if I destroy this thing, it gives me this particular type of, of resource that I need. And you didn't realize it because you weren't able to destroy that thing earlier. Your weapon wasn't strong enough. Stuff like that. That, that stuff is kind of fun. Um, so I've been playing this. It, it comes from a company by the name of Ten Tons. Uh, they are not new to the video game industry. They have about 8 or 10 titles under their belt. But this is the first game that I've played of theirs. And I wanted to do a recommendation video because a new DLC just came out called Underworld. And I'm really looking forward to getting to that and seeing what that expands into the game. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a quick look. <clears throat> So here is my character, and before we go too far, let me show you a few things. Uh, first is, is we've got our quests that are up on the top left-hand corner. We've also got our health bar. Up in the top right-hand corner, we have our <clears throat> current level, as well as the experience gained towards the next level. And then we also have some specific upgrade items that I am working towards finding the necessary resources for. Uh, so you can see there, crowbar plus five. That is actually my second melee weapon that I started with. Uh, I started with something a little bit lower and then converted over to crowbar. Uh, crowbar has done very well for me up until this point. Uh, I also have throwing knives, and then we also can uh, craft different types of food. There's a lot of different things to craft. Matter of fact, everything that you're going to need to do is based on crafting. <clears throat> we bring up the menu system here. Here's my particular inventory. This is what I currently have equipped. It gives you some stats and, and things along those lines. Uh, you also, of course, have the ability to change what you're wearing, which outfit, which headgear, which tools you're carrying. Right now I have the crowbar, the shovel, and my fishing rod. The only special item I have equipped is the knives. I have not unlocked any additionals. And then trinkets you can basically think of as passives. <clears throat> We then move on to quests. This is where you can tag specific quests. Now, the, I'll be honest with you. The main quests are ones that you're probably not going to follow because they are island-inclusive. In, they are spread across the entire island, not just in your little area that you've uh, explored so far. Uh, so you'll notice I don't have either one of these currently uh, tracked. I really only have the farming basics ones tracked. But you will have to escape the island, uh, in this particular case, investigate the anomalous signal in order to get out of particular areas and to leave the island. Now, as I mentioned, there is a new DLC that I own called Underworld. Uh, once you do leave the island, that will become available to you. I have obviously not gotten there yet. 
Now, as far as the map is concerned, this is the map. Now, this is not the entire island. This is just centered on where I'm currently located and what I've explored. So you can see, this is all the stuff that I've opened. There's uh, some area here. This is actually the area where you start the game, called the Caged Suburb. Uh, you come out down here in your shelter, and then you eventually make your way into this uh, walled-off area. First goal, get out of this walled-off area. <clears throat> but the map for the entire island is this. So it is not a small map by any stretch of the imagination. I have not explored a tremendous amount of it. But I am really, really loving the game, which is why I wanted to do the recommendation video. Uh, there are going to be a lot of things that you're going to discover that you can't do initially because you haven't opened up or unlocked the necessary upgrades to do such a thing. So you can see here, there are locked doors. There are locked doors. I cannot get into these locked doors because I don't have a lock pick. Same thing over here. Well, I haven't upgraded to be, or I haven't gotten to a high enough level to unlock lock picks, <laughs> if you will. Uh, so those are things that you're going to have to do over time. Now, what do I exactly mean by uh, the unlocks and upgrades? Well, that's where. All right, wrong one. Oh, we do it here. So you sit at your campfire, and there are campfires that uh, become save points for you throughout the areas. Uh, once you sit down, now not all of these will be available to you minute one, but invent and craft. This is that tree that I was talking about. These things uh, will unlock as you gain levels. So here is my throwing knives. The next throwable will be available to me at level 10. The lock picks that I was talking about are up here under exploration, and the basic one isn't available until level 12. The expert is available on level 19, and I have found some expert doors. So all of these things are going to be available for you to use. Uh, we also have a upgraded storage box which I am tracking that. I am tracking that. Uh, I wanted to make sure because the upgrade storage box is extremely important for you to be because you're going to find a lot of resources. You're going to destroy a lot of things and you're going to collect a lot of things. Now, you're not going to be able to carry all of them at one time. You're going to want to go back and forth to your storage box to drop them off. But the upgraded storage box will allow you to, to store more. We also have outfits and these outfits will increase and improve your damage resistance and weather resistance and things like that now so far i've only had to worry about damage resistance but if we go back real quickly to my inventory you can see over on the left hand side under the stats that there is survival temperature so we are going to have to be prepared to absorb cold hot things like that and your different outfits will allow for that the particular uh, coat that I'm wearing right now does provide, I believe it's a 20% resistance against cold. So those kinds of things are going to be important for you to keep track of. Now going back to the campfire real quickly, <clears throat> we also can upgrade our gear. This is where you saw that I was tracking crowbar plus five. <clears throat> this is where once I have the necessary resources, I can go through that process. We can do things with, get back to our inventory from here. We also, once we upgrade the sleeping bag, can actually sleep at our campfires. You can only sleep at your campfires. <clears throat> the campfires then will give you buffs to help you after you come out of your sleep. Now, one thing to be aware of, when you sit at a campfire, it does regen all of the... Uh, zombies in your area. However, there is a way for you to counteract that that I'm not going to talk about right now because I want you to find it out for yourself. <clears throat> there are then also... Let me see if I can find one real quickly. Show you a little bit of combat. Now, you saw that particular zombie drop off some resources. He also dropped off a blue... I forget what they're called, actually. It's it's a cell. And that's because I do actually have 
the item turned on for this area that will prevent them from regenning. So as you can see, I am destroying some things along the way. Now, this is a key item. You're going to find these transmitters all throughout the map. They're going to open up the map for you so that you don't have to necessarily explore everything. But you have the ability to fast travel between them, making it easier for you to traverse the map because uh, you do move a little slowly. There is no sprint. Uh, you do move a little bit slowly. I, I'd like them to maybe bump up the speed just a hair. But you also then have the ability to put in special transmitters when you unlock them. Deadly Transmission is one of them. You have to have the resources and install them in each one of the general areas or in each one of the transmitters. But once you do, every killed monster will no longer respawn and they will drop a blue mana bead, which is another resource that you're going to use as part of crafting. So that's pretty much the game. The whole idea, of course, is to escape this island and investigate every different thing that you find. Uh, you do have the ability to sneak up. Uh, you will find a lot of things throughout the world. I, I As I said, I am absolutely loving this game. Uh, cannot speak more highly of it. Are there things that could be changed? Sure, of course there are. But at the end of the day, it is a lot of fun. And I have been having a ball. I can't wait to find out other things, uh, find, you know, discover other areas, stuff like that. I believe this is locked doors. Yeah, that's expert lockpick. I will, the only complaint I will give is that I think the level requirements for certain upgrades are a little bit far apart. I really don't like this guy because of his throwing ability. But now I don't have to worry about him. He's going to respawn. He's not going to respawn. Um, so, for example, that transmitter item used to prevent uh, things from respawning. You didn't open it up until level 7. It can take a little while to go from level to level. So, lockpicks. I can't open up. There, I, there's at least five buildings that I've discovered I can't open up because I don't have the lockpick yet. I have to get to level 12. That's four levels away. Actually, uh, four and a half levels away. It can take a while to upgrade. Um, even having just killed, what, five monsters? Yeah, I'm, I'm nowhere close. So, something to be aware of. There is a little bit of a grind. Um, I'd prefer that there not be. But, you know... It is what it is. As I said, I'm still having a lot of fun with it. And, you know, going back to the map, I have a lot of things to discover yet that I have not discovered. Uh, I believe that I have pretty well gotten as far out of here as I possibly can. Um, I could probably go a little bit further into the evacuation site. But, you know, I am starting to run out of things to discover in this area. I am going to probably have to start going over to this side of the map now, uh, which I have not ventured into much. Uh, I would like to go ahead and open up this link tower. Um, there are also, like, for example, these link relays are part of the main quest. We are going to want to, of course, eventually get to those. I've only found one of those so far. So there's still a lot to do. Uh, and as I said, I still want to make sure that I play in the DLC. But let's go ahead and play just a little bit more so that you can see some more of the combat. The combat is what you've already seen. It's it's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, I do want to go back up here to the farm to see if I can harvest what I planted. Because that is a side quest that I have. And then I would eventually like to get back here over to the buried treasure because I have not uh, opened that up. I don't think. 
So let me go ahead down here. Okay, there is a little bit of a sprint. Oh, crap. The knives actually do you very well. Okay. Oh, uh, there we go. At least now I won't have to worry about them respawning anymore. The knives do you very well, but they, just like, you know, a Souls game, they replenish at the uh, campfire. There is an anomaly over here that they want me to investigate, but I don't know how to investigate it quite yet. Uh, you can see I do have the ability to sprint away. Right now, I'm just following the road. Oh, there's a car I didn't... Search. Uh, Alright, that one's going to respawn. Which means that... I have not unlocked the particular link tower for this area. Um, so there is a sprint. I had forgotten about that. I apologize. Oh, I'm too. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Okay, this guy sucks. That guy really sucks. He's very, very fast. Aggroed too many of them. Great. Gotta love wasting a knife. Knife. There we go. Yeah, I, I somehow got off track of my where I was trying to get to, and I don't know how. So down at the bottom, I forgot to talk about this. Down at the bottom, you will see different collection boxes, and those collection boxes... Oh, yeah, I went all the way up to the top, and I didn't mean to. Um, I went past the farm. Uh, those collection boxes let you know how much you're allowed to carry in your local inventory. Yeah, so here we are back here at the farm. And as you can see, I have the ability to harvest. And these will help you towards... Great, so we've now got farming in place. Alright, the corn isn't ready yet. Um, I have now enough carrots for fish soup. Uh, you will discover recipes. Now, you don't need to use the food for recovering your health. There are medicinal items that will help you with that if you need them. Uh, but you also will recover your health, of course, after you sit at a campfire. The... Other thing to keep in mind, in order to plant something, you will need to have a shovel. But apparently I'm only allowed to plant something once. Huh. Interesting. That or I don't have any seeds. You do have to have seeds. So that's something else to keep in mind. Um, but that's really all the game is. Fight. Destroy. Pick up items, and then go to a local storage box, which the storage boxes are shared between each campfire. Put stuff away, and then use them when you're ready to craft something new, when you're ready to upgrade to something. Uh, everything requires resources, no matter whether you're upgrading, 
crafting something new, it doesn't matter. You will always need resources. So that's really all the game is. It's definitely not as complicated as some survival games. Raft, uh, The Long Dark, Valheim, so on and so forth. There is no building component. You're not building anything. At least not that I've seen so far. Uh, but I really enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's a nice little combination, campy combination between zombie hunting or monster hunting and survival, crafting survival. Uh, it is open world. Well, okay, you start off in a walled off area. But once you come out of that walled off area, which is early in the game, the entire island is available to you. It's just up to you as to where you want to go next. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, as I said, this game is called Dismantle. It is by 10 Tons, and they just recently released the Underworld DLC. I highly recommend that you all check this out if you happen to have any interest in survival games, zombie games, uh, just fun graphics. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there is no music in the game. I will say that. There is no music that I've seen so far. So you will not get a great soundtrack out of the game, but it is a lot of fun. I've really been enjoying it. Uh, and as per usual, if you've enjoyed the content, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Please make sure to hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next either demo reaction or recommendation video. See you then.